Hi, my name is Sarah, and this is my second YouTube video. I am a reseller, and I sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Kitizen. And I'm sitting here in my garage in my sweats. What a great way to work. And um, I actually have a couple of my more recent thrift haul um, up here in the background, mostly because I just wanted to show you I love old and unique things. And um, so I'm not sure who would remember, or maybe they still do them. I never watch TV, but... Um, uh, this is a Kermit Klein sweatshirt making a spoof on the Calvin Klein commercials where they had the, you know, super muscular guys with their pants hanging low and then the Calvin Klein logo. So anyway, I just was busting up in the thrift store. I usually shop at the bins and this just cracked me up. And then this is a 19, also 90s. It's a 93. Um, it has the date on it. Um, United Airline sweatshirt it was kind of a cartoony character um kind of some retro colors so anyway those were two that just make me grin and I'm excited to get um buyers for those so I did list them this week so hopefully they'll get some traction soon um this video is about how to list kind of a step-by-step -step tutorial for eBay so I've had some people ask how to find keywords, how to figure out shipping prices, and I decided to just kind of take you along and verbally talk as I did my job. So you can see what I'm doing and then hear my thought processes over why I was choosing certain things, why, I, what things I needed to research, um, how I figured out shipping and how much to charge so that I wouldn't get charged extra shipping. Um, so if any of that sounds interesting, stay tuned. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you would like more of these type of videos. And also I wanted to apologize beforehand. The video quality at the end is kind of bad. It's been a learning experience for me. Um, but basically my iPhone in a dark garage does not take very good pictures and videos. So um, that is a little bad there at the end. So forgive me for that. I'm still figuring this whole thing out and thankful for a husband who has really um, helped me with some editing and giving me pointers of what to do next time. So anyway, hope you enjoy and hope this is helpful. I'm going to go ahead and list a few items for you. So we are going to go into, I've already uploaded pictures. Let's start with this one. Um, the first thing I do when I'm doing a listing, so I have a store, but it should look the same no matter if you have a store or not once you get into the listing page. Um, there's just a couple things that might be different. Here is my picture. Honestly, light colors are hard for me because it looks so shadowy. And then when I go to adjust the um, picture, sometimes it can get kind of washed out. So I like to change and add brightness and add contrast. And I try to do it so that it, the picture kind of pops, but then I don't want it to, to look weird, like in a totally different color. I have to play around with it a bit. But I actually only usually edit the first photo and leave the rest because as a buyer, I found that I prefer non-edited photos. Yeah, those ones catch my eye in the beginning, but I want to see true color. I want to see um, under normal light what it will do. This tag is so washed out, you can barely read it. I'm not even sure why I put it, but you can sort of make out that it says linen cotton blend. And linen is a good keyword. So I wanted them to see that it was truly linen. And the rest of my pictures look fine. I always put measurements in my photos. I used to think it looked tacky and it probably still does, but I found it makes my listing so much faster and it also has decreased my errors because sometimes I would get measurements mixed up as I wrote them down or it was just tedious. All right, so what I do now is after I've checked my photos, a front, a close up, a tag, a material tag, any unique features like a zip on the side, a back, and then my measurements, I am going to make sure I get my spelling right and put in the brand, Lily Pulitzer. So put that up here. We have a draft um, that I use. So sometimes it has the wrong information kind of in there and I just make changes because down here I have all the info I want and I just edit the draft to what I need. But it should be blank when you start if you're not already using a template. Okay, so Lily Pulitzer, it's going to be a top, a women's top. And it's sleeveless. It's yellow. 
linen, and yellow and white. Oops. All right, how else could we describe this? What are the unique features? So it's um, it's got buttons. It's like more of a tunic style where it's kind of flowy. So I'm gonna put tunic as an early, like a keyword up earlier in the listing title. So Lily Pulitzer, women's top, tunic, sleeveless, yellow, white linen. It doesn't have to sound good, you guys. You just wanna get keywords, things that people would type in. Um, what are some other things people might type in? Oh, man, sometimes it's so hard to know what people would type in. One way you can look up potential keywords is to open up another screen of eBay. Whoops, not do that. And go to advanced settings. I do this with almost every listing if I'm not really familiar. So this also helps me get comps. So I go to sold. I want to see what has sold with some of the same keywords and what for. So here's a pre-owned white top that sold for 22. It has sleeves. I'm not sure why that's showing up, cap sleeve. Um, this one is a sleeveless top that went for 30. It was new. This one was a totally different style. Um, so I'm trying to look for something. Maybe if I put in tunic. A little bit closer. Okay, here's one that went for new for 750. Not impressive. Um, let's see. Comps tend to be all over the place. You kind of have to and look. So she has a brand that's from Target. So then the Target ones are going to drive the price down too. Um, okay, so here's one that was new. This sold for 15. So let's think about the neckline. Okay, here, look, this is exactly it in another color. It went for $44. So, and it was pre-owned. So it looks like the name of it is Adelina. So what I like to do now is I like to Google just to make sure, do my due diligence, that I'm gonna use the right keyword um, and put Lily. Sir sure I spelled this right, Adelina, or Adelina, or er, shirt, top. Let's see what comes up. Okay, so that looks like it's the specific color, maybe? I don't know, because they're all coming up the same green. Let's look up images. Hmm. So let's look up yellow. Does it come up in yellow? Is that a thing? And this is where you can start to spend too much time when you just need to get listings up. Um, so you always have to kind of weigh, am I really going to get that much more for it if I know the specific name? It's kind of driving me crazy that I can find the exact style but I can't find it in the color to know if I can use that keyword to direct people. Interesting. Um, okay, so let's look at how they described this. Lily, put, Lily Pulitzer, size small, which I have not put the size in yet, which is always something you put in, six. So a six is gonna be also small, but we'll put in six, we'll put in small. Um. We have nine characters left. What else did they say? Um, none of those really apply. My husband and kids are playing outside and they're really loud. <laughs> but I'm glad they're playing. Um, this is another one that looks kind of like that too. I wish I knew the name, but I don't know the name. And I'm gonna keep going. So the neck is a, it's kind of like a boat neck. It's a little bit wide, has buttons. So I'm gonna put those as keywords as well. Okay. 
I don't have room for buttons. That's okay. Unless I, you know what, sometimes you can put S instead of small, but I don't think that's going to give me enough anyway. Nope. All right. Now I'm going to change category. So it usually pops up with some options. That is definitely what I need is women's tops. And then if you do not have a store, this doesn't apply, but I will change my store category. This is the part <laughs> that takes a while. It's kind of boring, kind of slow. Sometimes I upload other pictures to my phone while it's loading. It's kind of like, as this section, okay, now I'm gonna get the next one ready because I do not like to waste time just sitting. It's taking extra time. Okay, so I'll go down to my store categories and I'm gonna put in women's tops and blouses and UPC I usually put does not apply. Condition is pre-owned. It's in, this is my standard good pre-owned condition. No flaws noted. Um, and then I'm gonna scroll down here to accept all of the suggested um, filling in of the specifics. I then go through and double check them. Yes, that's the right brand. The size type is gonna be regular. The size is a six. It's a tunic top, boat neck, linen, sleeveless. Color is white. I'm going to change it to yellow because it's more yellow than white, but they only allow one color. Um, and then what I did, and he didn't really describe what I did. I did control A, control C. So I just copied my title and then I come down here to item description. And here I Velcro in control V my title. So now when searches are happening on Google or wherever, the, um, same keywords are also going to be in my description. And then I do a little story about my item. I tend to be pretty brief. It feels repetitive, but I like people to be reassured that there's that little extra um, assurance of what item they're getting. So I'm gonna say, excellent condition, women's linen sleeveless tunic, front has buttons, side zipper, size six, C, armpit to armpit, and neck to back hem measurements in the photos. And then we have our um, link to our store, Raspberry Lane. We have um, a little thank you and a return policy. Basically, um, and he's, if it's new and we sell it, we want it in new condition when it comes back, still has tags or sealed, and then um, on PayPal policy, we're not supposed to send to an alternate shipping address. So if they email us and ask for a change of address, we actually ask them to cancel their purchase and repurchase with the correct address. It's just saved us a lot of headaches since we started doing that. Okay, we're gonna do a fixed price listing, which I do for 99% of my items. And then we go down to buy it now. And based on the comps of what I saw over here, um, pre-owned condition. It's kind of all over the board. There's everywhere from like five bucks to um, pre-owned going for 40. So, which is a long sleeve. So that's different. Um, so I'm not really sure the best pricing. It's always kind of a gamble of like pricing fast and letting it or lower to go fast or do you price it high and run sales? So I kind of tend to go middle of the road. So I'm going to go for 25. And if it doesn't move after sending offers, then I will run some sales. $5 is usually what I charge for shipping unless it's super lightweight or it's like on the heavy side, I might up it to $6. Um, two day handling is what we usually do. I don't usually set ad rates, um, at least that's my current. I keep flipping around on what I do on that. Currently that's what I do. Okay, now I'm gonna list my item. And I've heard it said, and I agree, that if you start, it's kind of nice to find the same products over and over because then you get faster. As you list similar things, you're spending less time figuring things out and you can get more bulk up there. So even if you like, I'm just gonna focus on tops, women's tops, or you know, something like that. Um, I definitely couldn't, I don't think I could do that as a full-time business model because I get bored and I like having variety. Um, people. There's people who say, you know, to try and 
curate or try and focus in and I just, for whatever reason, it doesn't work for me because I find what I find and if I know it can make me money, then I want it to make me money. And I think it's fun. So, okay, this was all the edit I wanted to do on this picture. Um, flip this around. And so the brand on this one is Broadway and Broom. It's an extra small. And then it's a women's top, extra small. So some things that are keywords about this is, um, I don't think the material tag was exciting. Yeah, polyester, no one cares. Um, but it's sheer. Sheer blouses tend to do pretty well for me um, for like career tops. So I'll put sheer, button down, pink. It's polka dot, right? Let me see up close, yeah. Oops. Polka dot. And then I'm going to put um, career blouse. Will it fit? Oh, so close. Um, let's see. I'm going to. Sometimes, if I only need one more, I get rid of that apostrophe just so I can fit my last little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna look up, let's see, let's go to this, copy it, and we'll do a search. In our advanced search setting under sold, what has have things on eBay been selling for with these keywords? And it's an extra small. So one thing that you start to notice right away is everyone attaches Madewell to this. Madewell. So it's a line um, that must be carried at Madewell. Although people are attaching a lot of things. So some people are saying anthropology. Some people are saying... So what I can do is I can do good old Google. And I'm going to put it in here. And I'm going to go to all. And look, sure enough, Madewell, Broadway and Broom. So, anybody who knows this brand better than me could tell me, you could leave a mark. Um, it's kind of a weird website, what is going on? Um, can let me know if, sometimes there's certain brands that only sell, or like they, they sell multiple places and not all of them um, sell, like Broadway Broom could be sold other places besides Madewell, but I'm guessing it is since it seems to come up right away that it's connected with Madewell. So I'm gonna put it on there, but correct me if I'm wrong, because I definitely prefer, I mean, I do not want to add in keywords that are inappropriate, you want to be really careful about that, that you're not throwing in names that are just getting more views, but they're not really reflecting your item. Okay, so more than polka dot, I'm going to put Okay. So prices. Make sure I got that. Yeah, okay. So Sheer. That one's an actual silk one, eleven ninety nine. Uh, silk, but it doesn't. When they cross off, this means the best offer was accepted, and you don't really know what they got for it. They took an offer. Um, I don't have silk, so I'm not going to get silk prices. This one is similar, thirteen forty nine or fifty nine. This one, 22.45, but it's silk. Type in a little bit more and see, and if I do sheer, how about that? Maybe it'll give me something that makes me feel more confident. Okay, that's 11.99, but that was the silk one. 11. These are not even the same brand. Interesting. 
All right. Well, when this happens, I tend to make up a brace in my head. <laughs> so let me go to the clothing top. Since it's polyester, I'll probably just start with 20. It's not like, if it was silk or something a little bit nicer, I would try higher. So I'm changing that. This is when I would be uploading photos because it definitely is slow. Okay, so I'm gonna change it to my store category. Women's tops and blouses. Good pre-owned condition, no flaws noted. I'm accepting all these. Brand is made well, size type is regular. Size is extra small, which is always kind of a bummer. Smaller sizes don't get as much. Um, I kind of like that though, because I'm a size small or extra small, and then it means that I don't have to feel quite as bad to keep things because I'm not keeping something that's worth as much. It's easier. <laughs> um, style is basic, neckline is going to be collared. Is it collared? This one is button, but not really collared, is it? So we have, I guess, a slight v-neck. Some of this stuff, it's like you kind of don't even know. Let's try round neck. Uh, materials, polyester. If you type in, it'll pop up for you. And patterns, let's see if we can do spots. Do we have spots? Do we have polka dots? There we go, polka dot. Oh, look, it. I didn't spell it right. Polka. Oh, I got rid of it anyway. Okay. Um, long sleeve, um, polka dot bras, pink, all right. So again, you're gonna control A, control C, come down here, control V. All right, now I get to talk about it. Excellent condition, women's, sheer, dusty pink and black oops polka dot button down shirt sure. long sleeves size is extra small see photos for armpit to armpit and back neck to hem measurements all right price so we're gonna do 20. We're gonna, I always require immediate payment just because, oh my goodness, sometimes dealing with, I mean, I now have unpaid assistant turned on so that they just deal with it, but it holds up your clothes. They just sit in like purgatory for a while until you can get um, them released to relist. So I personally always require immediate payment unless it's an auction. Um, down to UPS. Okay, this is first class. I'm gonna just charge four bucks because it is so lightweight. It's probably gonna be like 350 maybe. I'm gonna take this off. I don't have to put in any dimensions for first class. And then I'm going to list my item. So there's two blouses. So that's pretty straightforward. You kind of see my step-by-step -step process of how I do it. So now let's do something a little less normal. And that is a doll. So it's not gonna be first class. And it's a little bit more bulky. So I have keywords from another Cabbage Patch I sold in December, and um, I just need to change my listing to reflect what this doll looks like. So I'm going to brighten up the photo. And again, you kind of have to play with it. Like I don't want it to look too weird, but brighter. And then, and then I'll use natural coloring on that one, showing the Cabbage Patch sign. There is some loosening of the elastic here, just kind of typical for aging things, but I need to disclose that. Did the back of it, showing this that shows the date on there. The last date was 1982, which I think is what, yeah. 
the same one that was same year that my other one was. Um, here I'm showing without close, so we can see if there's any issues. Save it. And then again, this one. And we'll flip it around. Save it. I actually gave this doll a bath in um, a bucket with OxyClean, and it cleaned up pretty well. I want to double check it just before because there was some staining to it. Um, so I need to look at it again real quick. And that has the tag. Okay, so there were some flaws to this doll. The seams had come un, uh, undone there. They had sewn it. On both sleeves, there was this little, um, like, you can see where the, it's kind of annoying how it keeps popping up on me. You can see here that it has, like, these lines here where the, the fabric's kind of coming apart. So I wanted to make sure they knew that. And then they see my thumb, and they also see my scabs from where apparently I cut myself. Um, and so here's me wanting to avoid them <laughs> seeing that. You can crop, it's great. Oops. Yay. All right, and then that will crop it. Then this shows the other side. Oh wait, no, this one is the other side. So there were those flaws. Um, so here is what my listing looks like. Vintage, VTG is a keyword for vintage, 1978, 1982 Cabbage Patch Doll, girl, blonde hair. Oops. Ah, okay. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out how to fit that in. What color eyes? I think green, right? So green eyes, so we've got two words that are longer that aren't gonna fit, so I'm gonna have to change some things. I'm gonna just take off original, blonde hair, green eyes. So I don't tend to pick up Cabbage Patch dolls unless they have the original clothes because I feel like I get more if it has the full clothes and it just is cuter. Um, Let's see, pre-1990, so they've got the category is Cabbage Patch Vintage pre-1990. Store categories, I just put other because it's kind of one that I don't have a category for. Um, it's used in the condition description. So now I need to type in what is wrong with the item, which is um, some repairs on seams of arms, of both arms, shoulders. Um, uh, what is, how would you describe that? Somewhere to back of, or to upper back. I'm gonna, not a big deal, but I'm gonna put C photos. Now I'm gonna double check my item because I wanna make sure if there's anything else that I need to disclose, but I think it was in pretty good shape otherwise. Yeah, it's fine. Oh yeah, the, Elastic in the arm, or elastic is loose. Um, elastic in outfit is loose. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this is I am gonna copy it. So what I like to do with things that are flaws with the item is I like to have them twice, um, both in the condition and in my list or description just so that if there was ever a complaint saying you didn't describe it you know like I didn't know this was wrong with it um that it was just very clear like there wasn't any way they could have missed it if they had read um and I showed it in the pictures so it's actually shown three times okay so I controlled copied to here so now I have the repair information but I also want to just put in kind of an overview um Vintage original cabbage patch doll girl with um, blonde hair and blonde pigtails and green eyes. Um, 
yellow original outfit. Um, so I'm gonna look up really quick in my solds, or in eBay solds. I'm gonna put Cabbage Patch Pigtails because I feel like there was a name maybe for this kind of hair. Yarn hair, well yeah. Um, see, here's one that doesn't have clothes and it went for less than 19 and the buyer paid for shipping. Um, this one had clothes and went for 15 with $15 shipping. I know that my last one went for 32. I'm gonna price it at 32. Oh, that is so cute. A Western one with a cowboy hat and boots and everything. See, I just wonder, I would have probably priced that higher. But you know, you just kind of go and you figure it out. And sometimes I'll price things one way and it doesn't pan out the next time. So, um, so I guess there isn't, I thought there was, maybe it was a different hair that I was thinking about where it's like the loops. Um, but yeah, the one that I have is just like most of this hair. So it doesn't seem to be a keyword for that. Oh yeah, loopy, loopy curly. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna worry about that. So fixed price, I'm gonna keep it at the 32 that I did last time and we'll just see again. I can run sales, I can send offers. I'm gonna require immediate payment. We always charge sales tax. We always do returns within 30 days. We have a very low, I think it's under 3% return rate. Um, I think being really clear on pictures and descriptions and putting the work in up front saves you many in the end. Um, priority mail. Okay, so here is where I'm going to show you. Let me make sure the video is where you can see it. Um, so here's my doll that I'm going to try and package. So I could put it in a large poly mailer. I don't have a large one. I just have a small one right here. So I could put it in a large one and ship it and it would be a little bit lighter to do that. Um, which is an option. I'm deciding. The other option would be is I like to use this priority mail shoe box because this one you calculate by weight. And I know that she doesn't weigh that much and it's not gonna be the same weight as um, a flat rate. It's not gonna cost that much. So I could put her in this. She would fit just fine. Kind of feels like a coffin or something. Um, so let's see how much this weighs. So I'm gonna get my postal scale that I have right here and see how much in the box that she's going to weigh. So, she weighs one pound, 3.2 ounces. So I always round up. So on the computer, I'm going to go in here and put one pound with tape. Let me give it a little extra. We'll put five ounces. And the dimensions of the box are actually written right on the box on all of the priority mailer things they should have dimensions there so you don't have to do any measuring um and so i'm going to put in i round up again eight six and 15. and then i like to go and kind of get a feel for what it's going to cost the buyer so it's priority mail i've got the dimensions i've got the weight exactly what it would be and I'm gonna hit calculate shipping. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look based on where it would ship, how much it would cost the buyer. So for priority mail, okay, this is helpful. Um, it would cost 15 bucks to go to New York City, 13 to Chicago, 10 to Los Angeles. So if I did a medium flat rate box, oh, the prices, did it really go up that much? <gasps> I haven't done a medium flat rate on eBay since the price changed and they changed it significantly. So $15 for medium flat rate. So actually this is the cheaper option for people. It used to be like $12.85 or something that I could get it for with my eBay discount. Okay, so I'm gonna choose that. Offer that shipping service. The only other option would be if I put it in a priority mailer, or not a priority, but a poly mailer, it could be under a pound, which would save the buyer some money. So I'm going to go grab a large um, poly mailer and see what that would be. 
Okay, so what I'll do is I have my large poly nailer and I'm going to put it on my scale with the doll, just the poly nailer and the doll. And I'm gonna see, okay, well, what would that, if it's under a pound, it would totally be worth it to offer. Okay, so it is going to weigh 16 ounces. <laughs> so I can send this first class, which will save the buyer a lot of money and it, I can then adjust my prices. Okay, I do not need to do the measurements there. However, if I did need to do the measurements, where is my measuring tape? All I would do, if this was over a pound but I still wanted to do a poly mailer, I would literally go like this, tape it how I would tape it, and I would measure it. And I would measure the length of it, which would be 17, the width of it, and then I do the depth of it. And it's, you know, it's literally just kind of holding it and seeing it's rounder, so you just kind of have to, there's a little bit of estimation, but always just estimate a little up. And that's all you do for doing measurements on things that are a little bit bulky. And I've never had a problem with doing it that way. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and list it. Take off this and do that. So yeah, so that was listing three items, two shirts and a Cabbage Patch doll, which is a little bit more awkward. Kind of slowly going step by step. Um, you wanna, if, as you're learning, you definitely wanna be looking up keywords, prices, all of that as you start to get familiar if you're doing the same types of items over and over, it will save time. You'll get faster and faster. And, um, and it's also good to keep learning and growing and trying new things. So you just kind of have to figure out how you wanna do that. So I hope this was helpful. <laughs> I feel like I, um, as I'm talking out loud, I. I'm kind of like, oh, I hope that my fumbling along and stumbling is actually good because um, it kind of helps you, I'm hoping that it helps to see kind of my thought process as I'm working through the different components of figuring things out and that it doesn't always just, I mean, I've been doing this three years and I still am figuring things out, you know, and I'm still, I'm never selling the same item and um I mean, there's been, I guess once I listed the same romper. So, but it's pretty rare unless you're buying bulk of something that you are doing the same item over and over. So you're always kind of needing to think about keywords and how to describe things and um, and how to ship it and how to deal with different um, awkward shapes and objects. So anyway, I hope that that's helpful. I hope that you're having fun learning about reselling and I hope that you can go and use this information and not be afraid to start listing a couple things. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you um, at all want to hear more and if you could leave comments in the bottom or whatever that like if you have ideas for future ones, if you have questions about this, if I missed something or if you saw an error I made <laughs> like Sarah, you should do it this way. That would be great because we're all learning and we're all growing. And um, I know sometimes people have really fast ways of doing things and I'm always excited to learn and grow. This definitely took more time as I was talking it out. Um, I can a lot of times go pretty fast on listings. I try to do them. Um, I like to do them in a couple minutes to go through each one in a couple minutes. And that definitely did not happen this time. So anyways, I hope it's helpful. I hope you guys are having fun and enjoying the hunt as it's really good hunting time right now while people are cleaning out their closets and have a great day.